Okay, so I'm back. I'm still trying to figure out what the heck the options do in uh, in the Borderlands Shield mod, but they don't really include anything. They just show you a bunch of shields. Okay, whatever. Um, we're not going to worry too much about this for now. We'll, we'll get there. Um... What am I going to do? I could try, um... Oh no, the pirate ship is leaving. I actually wanted to... I actually wanted to get them. Um, the Trinkian ship, so that's, uh... I have, um this. I need 10 sticks of RAM. So I'm going to grab 10 sticks of RAM uh, and then go to that Trinkian ship, see if there's uh, one of those things there where I can um, put those sticks of RAM in. I shouldn't have a ton of blocks. I do have quite a few blocks. Blood sand. Blood sand. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. There's rough dirt. Cobblestone. Got a lot of regular dirt too. Uh, a little bit of sulfuric dirt. I'm gonna have to figure out if uh, some of this stuff does anything. This ice and slush we don't care about. I don't know if those do anything. Dire stone and blast stone, I'm not sure about. Stone. Um, okay, I guess. It's not super useful, but. And then, last stone. Same kind of thing. Moon rock. Do, uh, do we need a little bit of this? Oops. That'll power all those, no problem. And that'll power all those, no problem. Um, and we still got a couple of other things to look at. Okay, I've got sand and silt. Blood crystal. We extract plasmic crystal. And mud is irrelevant. Mud stone, I think, is irrelevant. Bone meal, I think, is relevant. 
Oh, you can sift bone meal. And Patak Crystal, I think, just extracts into Crystal. Well, you get Silicon, and I especially don't care. Um, and we've got some Bloodstone and Bloody Rock. Bloodstone gives Phosphorus, Bloody Rock gives Research. Okay. Um, meteorite, I know you can blast furnace that, but I've got a heck of a lot of it already. <laughs> um, we'll dump those. We'll pop some of these guys in here. And what else do I have for crafting mats? Wow, I got quite a few. Dump our leaf cutters. I'll need to pop a couple of things in here. Man, it's been a while since we've been back here. <laughs> I can I can tell just from like I have the jump gate core. That was from a while ago. Uh, anything else that gets smelted here? I don't think so. I think that is everything. And everything else will get plopped down here. I do need the sticks of RAM, so we'll um, keep those on me. Oh, I got that Stellar Queen. is suffering from an intestinal parasite. That's pretty disgusting. We're going to get this uh, this queen identified. Uh, it gets dumped here. It is a stellar queen. And I have Cosmonaut currently. We want to separate these. Okay. I think that's all we need to do here. Real quick, I will uh, I will get the rent from my other tenants. That didn't get picked up. And I think I only have three co uh, I always want to call them colonists. I think I only have three uh, tenants down here. Oh, but I haven't set up a, a system for them yet. Okay. Whatever. That's good. Uh, we were going to go to this Trinkian ship. 
And then there's a pirate ship right here, too. Hit these ones. What is that? Might be work. Nope, nothing important. I hate having to check my email, but that's part of the part of the grind. Part of being a teacher nowadays, I think. You're pretty much always working. Panels. Whatever, I do find myself kind of wanting more hall panels. I also uh, should probably work on my actual ship. That was uh, that was another thing that I got a request for a tutorial for was the um, building your own ship, and that's something I've never really investigated. So. If I wanted to do that, I would need to. I would need to spend some time figuring out how the system works. And I mean, obviously, like I know how to actually build it, but just spending a little bit of time um, kind of figuring out like what what it is you uh, kind of need to do to make it function. A crudely drawn human skull. Whatever. All right. Now we're going to the Trinkian ship. I wish there were more space encounters. Like, you can certainly just like grind space encounters in a in a system. And they tend to kind of like reappear relatively quickly, but I just wish there were more different types. You know, there uh, there aren't a lot that are super interesting. And like once you do one mysterious pagoda, you've essentially done them all. Because part of what um, part of what those space encounters are for is to get the the missions that they um, that they have available. Like the dungeons. Alright, so we're gonna get a bunch of this kind of stuff here. A Trinkian welding torch. Are you here to hitchhike? No, I'm here to sit in your healing pod. It is repairing me. He is. He's hanging out. Yeah, look at that. There it is. So you can't do anything to those. Someone just like worked in from somewhere. Oh, is that? Yeah, look at that. We've got a. With the upgrade completed, all I need now is download the file. The file size for this Trinkian crafting guide is substantially larger than the file. I'll need a circuit data drive to download all Trinkian merchants. Often sell these items. Let's check around the site like for someone selling such a drive. Hey! 
Theta OS. Okay, so none of these guys actually sell anything. There we go. Yeah, circuit data drive. Alright. Makes sense. Whoa! <laughs> 175 items. The download is finished. Well, that's kind of cool. We'll put our unique weapons down here. I'm not going to consider the wrenches to be unique weapons. That's not particularly interesting. We are going to do this, though. And I'll bet you... um. I'll bet you I get a, a teleporter destination pretty quick here, too. <clears throat> Must be a large area. bunch of stuff. Nom nom. Got anything worth thieving? Nope. So this really looks like a pretty normal settlement. <coughs> Posters. I would like, uh, oh yeah, so what I'm going to do then is I'll just take one of these, it doesn't really matter, and we're going to throw our light three in there, oh, I didn't actually put it in there, there! Isn't that better? Now I can see. Hmm, nothing. There's a dude just living down here. I like the sewers. It's quiet and peaceful. Okay, dude. Like, that's weird, but, you know, you do you. Alright, so we go down this way. I guess if I just hold one arrow, eventually I'll find whatever, whatever it is. Oh, okay, here's a chest. A fragment of a weapon. Found a fragment of a weapon blueprint. I should find the other pieces and bring them to a weapon sealer in the Korean embassy. They'll know how to read the completed blueprint. Okay, cool. Okay, so just picking this up is what gives you the recipes. You don't need to hold on to it. It's kind of frustrating that. <clears throat> This sphere is um, not the ideal one for this, I think. Oh, what's this? Yeah, I guess we'll just have to go around this way. 
being able to see though, whew, that's nice. Okay, I can run faster than this. <laughs> Seems kind of odd. Okay, so I think maybe up here? Yeah, this is gonna be the uh, one button challenge. Hey, there's something. I pointed at the screen. There was something down here. Yeah. Alright, go around. Let me go up here. Okay, this dumps us out here. Huh, interesting. Oh, okay. So he just straight up sells all of the blueprint fragments? That seems kind of boring. And the Trinkian Crafting Guide? Huh. Well, I don't wanna... I don't wanna just buy all of the stuff. That seems really lame. Oh. Okay, that's interesting. So I have a... I have a place I can warp to on this base, but it's like in the sewer. Now can I get up from here? Oh, I can't. Wow. So do I actually have to go all the way back? Oh my god. I think I do. That kind of sucks. Yeah, go around. Not that it was too bad, but... It was a little bit more time consuming than I guess I wanted. You don't always get what you want, huh? Oh, yep, that's the wrong way. It's this way. Alright, I think I think that's it. Yeah. God, that scared the crap out of me. A uh, little bug. I think just an ant landed on my hand. Just freaked me out. So there's like a lot of people here. I don't really know what I'm looking for, to be totally honest. Sneaky. There's fragment four. Seems like kind of an odd place for it. Ah, so this is as high up as I can go. Yep, we've got the invisible wall here. This is where we started, at the planet. This is where we couldn't come up. I don't know, should I be like talking to everyone? I don't know. Oh, okay, here's a quest. This is, I think, what we kind of actually want. Um, put an end to the Akimari Justicar that leads the pack. Okay. 
talk to Moo Man to warp. Oh, okay. So, all right. This is fine. I think we'll be able to do this. We need some powerful equipment, but I think we're I think we're good for powerful equipment. Find a group of Akimari scavengers beyond the cliffs. But be careful, they appear to be heavily armed, are assisted by drones and a chase flight. I think we're okay. But I am going to see what's over here. Uh, just some integrated scrap metal. Oh wow. Tier 6? A chainsaw? This is new stuff. It is a strafer. That's it. Kinda cool. And then this chainsaw, apparently you can mine with. Alright, good enough. Okay. They're toast. I don't know what this is. Okay, that's nothing. This is like a lot of new stuff that I've never seen before. I guess it makes sense, right? Like, I, if I haven't been doing the shell guard stuff very much, a lot of these uh, items will be brand new. Here. It doesn't seem to be worth worth actually doing that. Target you are after is the large Akimari just the car up ahead. Take it out, then find a return teleporter further east. This is a tracker. So we've got the strafer and the tracker now. And the chainsaw. Wait, we have two chainsaws. There they are identical. Vosh? I don't really know what you do with Vosh, but it's a liquid. Alright. Okay, so that's the Justicar. Definitely shredded my shield. All right, we'll uh, we'll heal up a little bit. Oh. <laughs> Turns the water into poison. Alright, I think we got it. Yep. Found a large container full of Vosh acid previously used by Justicar Card Powers Weapons. I should find an Akimari who knows their way around Vosh weapons. Perhaps they can fashion a new weapon using the container. Did I actually get 
Okay, I got the Bosch container. Uh, anything else interesting? Nope. Doom light. Alright, so another strafer. We don't really care about the wedding skirt. Another strafer. It's that stupid gag nose. A doom light. Okay, whatever. Cool. Oh, it's Vosh. It turned it into Vosh. Okay, I can't I can't actually go over here. Darn. I have decrypted the code. It's 55512. Grab the meal, and we'll go back. Pretty neat. It's going to take a little while. Uh. Okay, we now have the gun range pass. This looks like it would be a teleporter, but it's not. Okay, so this appears to be the shooting range then. Cool. I just don't want to pay fifty thousand for one. Boom. So they have infinite health. Okay, so the point of getting that pass is just um just so that you can talk to that guy who sells unique items. Cool, I guess. What do you need, Duder? Help me out with a small task. Doing some research on the ferret. I need five ferret scales. I have no idea where to get ferret scales, but it's cool. We'll figure it out. This dude's got a little questerino for me. Salvaged nano recept receptacle. Yeah, we have one. Guardian mech legs and guardian mech boosters. Okay, then you want something else? You want 50 Vosh. Alright, I can't do that yet. Do not have 50 Vosh. Most of it isn't very relevant. Yeah, because you're a robot. It's a big tower. Holy crap. Oh, I don't have the secure. Oh, this is the command center. Oh, there's a chest up there. 
How neat is that? This calls for... Some, uh, some sneakiness. And by sneakiness, I don't really mean sneakiness. We're just gonna... Climb up the whole dang thing. Interestingly, I could have just started from up here. What is that? Okay, he's a Trink construction worker. Alright, easy enough, look at that. There's the Blueprint Fragment 5. And then we'll uh, fall back down on the other side. Pretty easy. What does that little dude want? Apparently it's like a quest I've already completed. Oh, I see. So this is the guy that can make the weapon. Asha talk. An unstable makeshift weapon that randomly fires highly volatile pro projectiles. 12 hardened scrap metal. Oh, that's integrated scrap metal. Oh, that's a very subtle distinction. Yep, and that's the end of it there. Man, I thought, first off, I thought there would be a teleporter here, and there is not a teleporter. Uh, as far as I'm aware. Which makes this very difficult. Meaning if I want to return here, I, uh, I'm gonna have to find a teleporter. Yeah, I thought this would have been it. This is not a teleporter. Where could it be? Cause like there's gotta be one, right? I mean they wouldn't they wouldn't have a quest hub that you have to like randomly find every time you wanna visit. That would that would be terrible design. But what would the teleporter look like? Looks like that dude has a plant on his head. He doesn't. He's just right in front of the plant. Makes sense. There's no teleporter. That is so bizarre. The only teleporter is... Well, it's at that, um, that vendor. I mean, I guess I should be grateful that there's at least a teleporter to get back here. That just seems like such an oversight. Wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh man, 
What a headache. I'll check one more time over on this side. I, I mean, this has got to be it. This teleporter is only active at a specific time of year. Okay. There may be one up here. Is this it? Yes! Thank God. I'm starting to think like this is really not going to work for me. 20 ferrets. You'll find the green flying monsters on lush and forest planets. Okay, so that's like really early. <laughs> really early stuff. Nope. Okay. Well, at least we have a we have a teleport back to the embassy. That's what's important to me. Very cool. Research ship. I don't think I know what's actually on a research ship. Research, resource, or whatever I said. Then I'm going to need to go to a lush planet to find those uh, ferrets. It's kind of funny. Dry. Take all their loot. I don't. I don't want their books. There's an apex. And that's it. There's nothing here. It's just the ship. Wow, that's really lame. Suppose I should actually get to a uh, a lush planet. So let's find ourselves a gentle star. Uh, and we might also want uh, a lush and a forest. Yeah. This might that might be our best bet right here. Cat's starting to go nuts. Wonder why. We should have food. Cleaned out his litter box. I gave him treats yesterday. He's living the life. Okay, so we what is this? Really, there's an extreme energy reading in a 
in a gent on a gentle star? That surprises me. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna look at this. An extreme energy reading around a gentle star does not seem uh, normal to me. That. Oh, it's got these guys too. Yeah, good. I was like, oh god, if that hits me. I mean, for mucho damage. figure out what this energy reading is. Hope it's something moderately interesting. So is there gonna I wonder if there's gonna be another boss here then. Yep. So that's that teleporter. Old One's A6 jump rifle. So how do we want to play this? That's a tier 6. Also got like a flamethrower, jump flare cannon. That's cool. It does not seem good enough to be considered tier six, but it's cool. damage though. I'm trying to dodge it the best I can, but I'm terrible at dodging. Okay, we got it. We got that shield core. Okay. That's just its hull. It's not anything you can get. Nice. So I certainly didn't need to do that again, I guess, but... It's kind of cool. 
It's a fun fight. And uh, I think that's uh, I think that's all the stuff. All right. So that's just a, an anomaly. So that's probably why uh, that is kind of difficult to like actually find because it just shows up as an energy reading. All right. So we want to hit up a lush planet in the hopes that we can find these Faith or whatever. Beam site of immeasurable safety. So, what we're looking for is flying green things. Supposedly, These things are flying green. Not that, correct, not that. I think they're the things that uh, are the little, like, kind of look like dragons almost. Things. I might be wrong. What's that? Oh, these are birds. Are we on the edge of another biome then? Yes, it would appear as such. I'm pretty close to saying that uh, this planet is not going to have them. Here's the uh, here's the Welchie hut. Say that that's it's probably not going to spawn here. Oops. Not mean to murder all the chickens. A lot of those dudes, though. I don't even remember what they're called. Skid dib dibs or something. I have the figurine of them. Okay. Nope. I'm gonna say no. We're gonna we're gonna try the uh, the other lush planet, and then if it's not on the other lush planet, we're gonna try the rainforest planet. I think they're the green dragon looking things. 
but we, we won't know until one actually drops what we're looking for. Faerith is what we're looking for. We we'll spawn right next to the wealthy hut. Yeah, that's, I think, a fair. Except it didn't. Okay, yep, it's a ferris. The green dragon looking things. That's a bee. Damn leaf cutters. It did drop ferris scales that time. Cool. So, we've found a planet where they will actually spawn. And now all we need to do is kill 20 of them and get a bunch of scales. Does that bear have a mustache or what's the deal? Because it doesn't look like fangs, really. This is an interesting set. It can't be in your hot bar. It's an interesting setup though. Usually it's like just one thing, not a not a hill like this. I've never seen that uh... kind of um, configuration. Where are my Ferrith bros at? I will not help you. You're on your own, buddy. It's a doggy dog world. It's a diamond dozen. I hate when people, uh, Get those colloquialisms ass backwards. So maybe they only spawn in the. Uh. Man, I didn't. I did not sleep very well last night. Uh, but yeah, maybe they only spawn in the actual um, lush biome uh, portion of the planet, and that would make sense, because it did say, like, on lush and forest biomes, or planets, or something. But it did kind of make a point of, of saying that. Really? Here I was trying to leave him alone. <laughs> I killed all of them. I guess this is a tier one planet. That's just funny.
lot of vendors. They just sell crap. All right, and then oh, I thought this was the the Welchy Hut. It's not. It ain't. We we are back to the uh, the lush biome again, though. So that's good. That means we'll be able to find Ferrith again. It's gonna be rough though if I need to get all these Ferrith scales. And like one in five is gonna drop the scales. Feel like an unnecessary grind, I'm sure. And now, because I've already been here, I'm probably not going to spawn as much. So I don't know, maybe maybe I'm gonna have to like beam up and then come back down. I don't I don't know how to like force things to respawn. Like I think we're almost done with the with the lush biome and we found six. There's one. No scales though. Yep, that's the end of the lush biome. Alright, well. Will be up. So it has been an hour. Um, I'm going to call it there, and I'm probably going to be done streaming for the day. I might stream uh, later tonight. Uh, I do have dinner with my family. And like I said, I've had a, had a rough, crappy day yesterday. So just kind of want to veg out and, and do nothing. So uh, I will... I don't think I have anything going on tomorrow. So I will be streaming tomorrow. Um, probably at noon again for probably two hours again. Um, but yeah, as always, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you later.